senior, number two, Joey Sonsler. And for your Knights, number four, a 5'11 sophomore, John Henderson. For the Disney Black Tigers, number five, a 5'11 inch junior, Nick Heider. Welcome everyone to Nordonia High School. Tuesday night matchup here between the Nordonia Knights and the visiting Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers. We are officially underway here at Nordonia High School. Let's get your, your starting lineups for the evening. First, for the visiting Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers, they're coached by Todd Taylor. Uh, starters are Trini Henderson, Joey Sondles, Nick Hyder, Ethan Tompkins, and Donovan Mills. And that starting lineup for the Knights, we have Joel Jones, John Henderson, Anthony Lee, again getting that start at guard, Cooper Russ, and Robert Watson rounds out that starting five for you for the hometown Knights. And open up the quarter, the Knights, thanks to a Joel Jones bucket, have a two-point lead and look to increase that here with Anthony Lee controlling the point. Lee and Henderson are that guard tandem to start for Nordonia. Russ the cross court pass to Henderson back up top Lee. Henderson has Sandals guarding him. And Cuyahoga Falls comes up with a steal. Nordonia's first turnover of the game. Here's Nick Hyder controlling the point. Find Sondles. Here's Trini Henderson drives on Russ. Layup off the glass won't go. And here's Joel Jones. Jones has Ethan Tompkins guarding him. Russ in the corner for three. Front ironed it. And here comes Trini Henderson again. Henderson has Russ guarding him. Henderson looking, looking. Now drives inside, finds Tompkins. Tompkins kicks it back out to Nick Hyder. Nice defense here from the Knights. Hyder's looking. Here's Donovan Mills, senior. And misses the little floater in the lane. Here comes Henderson. The Knights on the fast break. Out to Russ, back to Lee. Henderson in the corner, Joel Jones a three, and he airballed it. And here comes Trini Henderson. The Black Tigers are gonna take their time here on this possession. Here's the drive and the miss by Henderson, but he'll get to the line for two shots. 5.42 remaining here in the first quarter. Nordonia still with a 2-0 lead here to open out the game. And we're actually going to have an inbound pass here from Henderson. Nice pass inside. The bucket is good by Donovan Mills. 
<laughs> As we mentioned, Donovan Mills Sr. getting that starting center position tonight for Todd Taylor and the Black Tigers as we are tied at two with 525 remaining in the first. And we have a foul called. Nick Hyder will pick up his first personal foul. Here's Lee. Finds Henderson once again. Robert Watson's trying to set a screen, it looks like. Here it backs up top to Lee. He'll shoot a three. And short remit. Cooper Russ, the offensive rebound, and Pook backs off. Robert Watson, the offensive rebound, unable to hit. And Watson was fouled. He'll shoot two free throws. It's a bit stretched by the Knights. Three offens or two offensive rebounds in that stretch, and it'll be rewarded with two free throws. Now, our last broadcast, the Knights were atrocious from the free throw line. Could not get any to fall down. Let's see how those free throw, if those free throw woes continue tonight. And it starts out with a miss from Watson. We will uh, get you updated. The Cavs are hosting the Pistons tonight in Cleveland. Some NBA scores as Watson goes 0 for 2 from the line. We are tied at 2. We'll get you some updates with the Cleveland Cavaliers and other scores from around the NBA after this break. Robert Watson, the offensive rebound and putback. So those are two offensive rebounds early here for Robert Watson as Henderson was pressured. Here's Hyder in the corner. The floater is way off. Here comes Joel Jones. Jones pushing it. Finds Watson on a nice cut to the basket. No, Henderson's follow won't go. Nice pass from Jones. Here's Sandals back to Henderson. Trini Henderson has seen a lot of the ball here in this first quarter. Jones almost got the steal on Tompkins. Outside the Sandals, his layup off the glass. And here's Jones. Todd Taylor is screaming for some kind of for a slapping foul as Russ misses the bucket, but it seemed like Jones may have slapped Sandals in the arm on that last play. And Todd Taylor not happy about that. Here's Sandals once again driving on Henderson. The floater is good. So there's the bucket from Sandals. Tied at four with 3.27 remaining here in the first quarter. Jones, his floater, is good. Four quick points here for Joel Jones. 6-4, 3-10 remaining here in the first quarter. Knights with a two-point advantage here at home. Robert Watson drives on Henderson, misses the layup. Jones can't get the putback. Watson again an offensive rebound. And he is fouled. Let's see the foul's on here. It'll be on Ethan Tompkins. He'll pick up his first personal foul. It's substitution time. Knights bringing out a fresh starting uh, four. The four bring four players out. Joel Jones is the remaining starter in there. Knights bring out Owen Licht, Luke Tycote, Logan Jankowski, and Josh Malone. Jones inbounds, finds Licht, back inside of Jones. Nice pass there. Joel Jones can't hit. Owen Licht went crashing to the ground. Here's Trini Henderson as he brings the ball up with his team in a two-point deficit in this first quarter. Finds Hyder. Hyder drives off the glass and in. Nice drive from Nick Hyder, another, another junior on this varsity team for Cuyahoga Falls. Joel Jones in the corner. Air balls a three. Logan Jankowski on the offensive rebound and put back. So the Knights with some 
decent amount of offensive rebounds here to start out this first quarter. It's given them some second chance points on the board here. And it also gives them an 8-6 to six lead with 2 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Henderson with Jones on him. Henderson drives off the glass, way off the mark. Here's Jones. Jones drives on Sondles, kicks it out in the corner. Tycote thought about three. Jones inside to Jankowski. The layup is off. But he'll get to the line to shoot two. That falls on number five, Dick Heider. At the line to shoot two, number 13, Logan Jankowski. Heider picks up his second foul early. And Brendan Kareem is set to check in. He'll check in for he'll check in for Hyder. Joe Jones also getting some rest. Luke Jackson will replace him as Jankowski goes one for two at the line. Henderson again. Now has Owen Licht guarding him. Uses a Xander Miller screen. He's also checked in. And he gets the steal for Cuyahoga, gets the pass for Cuyahoga Falls. Henderson a three. Book it. So Trini Henderson with his first bucket of the game tonight. Ty Cody finds Malone in the corner. It's Jackson. Finds Ty Cody once more. And Brendan Gurian intercepts the pass. It still remains Knight's ball. Minute 12 remaining here in the first quarter. We are tied at nine. Here's Ty Cody in his first year as a member of the varsity roster for Nordonia. Malone finds Logan Jankowski in the corner. Nice pass. Jankowski missed the layup. And Isaiah Campbell is fouled. Jackson's going to pick up his first foul. We are closing out these final 45 seconds here in the first quarter at Nordonia High School. Here is Brennan Guring, who just checked in. And we'll see what the call is here. Hard to tell from this angle so with Coach Dominique Sanders. And Xander Miller set an illegal screen. Miller picks up his first personal. Here's Henderson. Henderson thought about the three, now finds Malone. Back up top for John Henderson. Malone fires away and drills it. Big bucket there for the Knights as their lead is now 12 to nine with 10 seconds remaining here in the first. Sondles in the corner. Sondles is double teamed. Sondles is trapped. And we have a jump ball. We never actually have jump balls. This isn't the NBA, but see the possession favoring rule. And in this case, possession favors Cuyahoga Falls. So 1.8 remaining. Let's see if they can get a bucket here. The three is up. And it's good. Wow. Nice bucket by Nick Heider to tie the game in absolutely unbelievable fashion. A terrific bucket by Heider as the Knights had a strong half of offensive or quarter of offensive rebounding but Cuyahoga Falls still is in their reach. Scored, uh, board is tied at 12 
We are tied at 12 with um, second quarter action to begin very shortly here on RodoniaHeels.News. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School for second quarter action is just underway. Knights and Black Tigers visiting from Cuyahoga Falls are deadlocked at 12 as we begin this second quarter. Hey, let's get you some NBA updates. The Cavs are playing their final home game before embarking on a grueling six game road trip. They're hosting the Detroit Pistons at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. The Cavs are up 25-21 with a minute 47 remaining in the first quarter. We'll keep you, keep you updated with the score of that game. Other notable games. Other notable games around the NBA. Portland, the Trailblazers are in Toronto to take on the Raptors at Scotiabank Arena. The Oklahoma City Thunder are in Brooklyn to face off against the Nets, who are still without Kyrie Irving. The Minnesota Timberwolves are in Memphis to face the Grizzlies. The Sacramento Kings are taking on the Phoenix Suns um, in Phoenix. And our final game of the evening are the Knicks and the Lakers. That's... Um, from the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Knicks are at 10 and 26, Los Angeles at 27 and nine. The Lakers are, like I said, we'll keep you updated with all those scores from around the NBA throughout the course of this broadcast. Meanwhile, we're back here at Nordonia High School where Cuyahoga Falls has gained their first lead of the evening, a 15 to 14 advantage for the visitors. With 6.30 remaining here in the second quarter. Out there for the Knights, it's Joel Jones, John Henderson, Anthony Lee, Robert Watson, and Josh Malone, the only reserve in there for Nordonia. Here's the drive all the way, and the floater is off the mark by Trini Henderson. Jones gets the rebound, but stepped out of bounds. And a turnover for the Knights. Cooper Ross back in for the Knights. It'll be Brendan Gurin to inbound. Find Sandals. Sandals gets it back once more. Sandals a couple of crossovers. Crossover again. Drives all the way. Spins. And he traveled. Or no, he didn't travel. It's a foul on Henderson. Henderson can't believe the call, and neither can Dominique Sanders. Joey Sonnels will be at the line. Or no, he won't be at the line. My bad. The inbounds pass. Here's Sonnels. The layup is good. Extends the Knights' lead. Or extends the Black Tigers lead to three. Anthony Lee finds Russ in the corner, cross court pass to Henderson. Henderson has his shot rejected. And here's Sandals. Sandals the pass, the layup is good. And all of a sudden the lead is five for Cuyahoga Falls. Here's Lee. Lee has sandals on him. Lee finds Cooper Russ. Jones. The steal by Isaiah Campbell. And here come the Tigers once more. Here's Campbell. Finds sandals. Crossover. Fakes. Open. Drive is off. Here's Jones with the rebound. He coils it out. Finds Henderson. 
Up and down they go. Watson pivots in the lane. Watson struggling. Here's Henderson. Knights are struggling to find a basket. Haven't scored yet in the quarter. Anthony Lee finds Henderson. Nice pass inside for Watson, and he is way off on the shot. Campbell finds Henderson. Tigers are going to slow it down a bit here. Henderson drives all the way. The layup's good. It is a Black Tiger Brigade in this second quarter as Cuyahoga Falls has extended their lead to seven with 4.06 remaining here in the second quarter. It is a 21 to 14 score in favor of Cuyahoga Falls. We will be back to wrap up this second quarter with you here on NordoniaHills.News. I am Darius Sethna and you're listening to Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity Broadcast with Darius Sethna um, on NordoniaHills.News. We will wrap up this second quarter in just a moment. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School where the Knights have suffered on the offensive end to start this second quarter. They have not scored yet and are, but they have um, only one bucket and are down seven, 21 to 14 with 350 remaining here in the, fir- in the second quarter. Here's Anthony Lee looking to get the Knights on the board. They haven't done that in a while. Malone cross court to Jones. Jones back to Malone. And another steal. Here's Henderson. Henderson's pull up is good. It's start the Tigers are starting to gain some cushion. Here's Lee, Malone, baseline Jones, back up. Anthony Lee can't hit the three. Here's Henderson. Henderson taking his time once again, bringing it up the court. Henderson has Lee on him. Henderson gets it back and it's deflected, but it's back in the hands of Henderson who finds the cut. And the foul and the bucket by Isaiah Campbell, the junior. Cuyahoga Falls have blown this open. A 25 to 14 lead for the visiting Black Tigers here at Nordonia High School. And Isaiah Campbell will have a chance to extend that lead with a free throw. New substitutions uh, out for the Knights is Logan Jankowski, Cooper Russ, Luke Jackson, Owen Licht, and Luke Tycote trying to break this dry spell. Russ finds Jackson. Jackson, a baseline jumper, is way off again. Here's Gurian. Gurian will drive. Gurian will score. One of the worst offensive performances the Knights have had this season. Only two points compared to 15 by Cuyahoga Falls. Here's Ty Cody, finds Licht. Cross court, but there are so many cross court passes and a three is way off. Here's Gary, he'll try a three. And Luke Jackson, the rebound. I'm coming up on a minute 40 remaining here in the first. Deflected, Jackson comes up with it. Now it's Russ. Finds Ty Cody in the corner. Knight staring at a 13 point deficit. Another steal. 
licked inside to Ty Cody. He'll go up and miss. The putback is good by Jankowski. So Logan Jankowski gets on the board. The drive is, wow. What a shot by Gearing is falling away from the basket. The Black Tigers won an and one call there. Won't get it as the lead extends to 13 once again. Threes off by Ty Cody. The putback is good by Jankowski. So back-to-back -back buckets by Logan Jankowski. He has seven points in this game. As we come up on the final 25 seconds of the first half. Looks like Kyle Falls is going to look for the final shot. And an 11 point cushion here on the road. But they turn it over and here's Jankowski all the way to the bucket. And one. Jankowski with a fantastic stretch here in these closing minutes of the second quarter. He scored the last six points for the Knights. And he can cut to the lead to eight with a free throw. Nine seconds remaining here in the first half. 29 Cuyahoga Falls, 20 Knights. In a nine point hole. Now make it eight. Just a better all-around ar team effort by Cuyahoga Falls. Here's Henderson. He'll go to the basket, fires a mid-range air ball. And that will conclude our first half, ladies and gentlemen. The Nordonia Knights is having one of their worst offensive quarters of the season. Only scoring nine points compared to 17 for Cuyahoga Falls. The Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers with a 29 to 21 advantage here at Nordonia High School over the Knights. You're listening to Nordonia Hills Varsity Boys broadcasts, uh, basketball broadcasts with Darius Sethna. We will be back for more Cavs updates um, against the Pistons as well as the second half of this basketball game between the Knights and the Tigers coming up for you here on NordoniaHills.News. Sorry.
As we begin the third quarter of play, let's get you updated with some of the stats from the first half. We had a decent half of offensive rebounds for the Knights, as I mentioned um, earlier. Logan Jankowski had the best half of his season, 10 points, and got the Knights within single digits um, couldn't with a three-point play conversion. Um, on the other end, the Black Tigers dominated offensively. Saunders and Gearing combined for 13 of their 29 first half points. And now they start off the third quarter with a 10 point advantage against the Knights. Let's get you updated with some stats from the Cavs and NBA World. The Cavs um, with their final home game for a long six game road trip, including some games in LA. The Cavs with a 54 to 41 lead on the Detroit Pistons at home, looking to go one and three on their four game homestand. Damian Lillard and the Trailblazers are in Toronto at Scotiabank Arena. They currently have a seven point deficit, 44 to 37 against the Raptors. The Oklahoma City Thunder and Brooklyn Nets are deadlocked at 18 from the Barclays Center. Minnesota and Memphis are tipping it off in about five minutes from now. The Sacramento Kings are in Phoenix to take on the Suns. And then our final game of the evening is uh, New York. The Knicks will be at the Staples Center to take on LeBron and the Lakers at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Meanwhile, we had a scuffle with Donovan Mills and Logan Jankowski got tumbled up on the floor. As we have an eight point game here in the third quarter. Black Tigers 31, Knights 23 with 6.38 to go in the third quarter. And Nick Heider had a buzzer beater at the end of the first quarter. Hasn't done much since. Jones inbounds to Cooper Russ for three. Off. Short rimmed it, but Henderson gets the rebound. Here's Lee. Anthony finds John Henderson. Drives. Finds Lee again. Cooper Russ. Nice pass inside for Jankowski. Drives and. Looks like Donovan Mills committed a foul. And we'll have an inbounds pass here. Joel Jones. Isaiah Campbell, who had a nice second quarter contributing offensively and defensively, checks back in for the Black Tigers. He'll check in for Donovan Mills. Henderson has sandals on him. Lee finds Russ. Jankowski in the corner, another cross court pass, and Here's the Lee who ends up back on the other side. Joel Jones kind of looked and he missed the wide open layup. Strange sequence there. It's almost like Joel Jones waited there and then missed the open layup and Anthony Lee's gonna get called for a foul. It's a blocking foul. Donovan Mills is going to come right back into the game for Cuyahoga Falls. Substitutions also for the Knights. Josh Malone and Owen Lick, the two seniors, check in. Here's Henderson. Henderson has Jones on him. Has some fancy dribble moves. Nice pass inside for Mills. Mills and a foul. Donovan Mills catching fire once again. Donovan Mills at the line, his free throw is good. And with that free throw, the lead 
for Cuyahoga Falls extends to 11. Henderson drives all the way, the layup's good. So a nice drive there by Henderson. Cuts the deficit to nine. Five minutes remaining here in the third quarter of play. 34 Tigers, Knights 25, excuse me, as Nordonia is in a nine point deficit and the Tigers are gonna call a quick timeout here as 4.51 remaining remains a nine point game here in the third. We'll be back to wrap up this third quarter from Nordonia High School here on Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity Broadcast with Darius Sethna on NordoniaHills.News. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School as the hometown Knights are staring at a nine point deficit here to the Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers. As the Tigers will inbound, here is Trini Henderson. Hey, if you haven't uh, been on it recently, make sure you check my Twitter account, at Nordonia Sports. I am Darius Sefna. We just um, recorded our 67th episode of the Cleveland Sports Show. Talk about the Cavs, the Premier League, and the NFL playoffs. Wild cards are over and the divisional rounds begin. And we also honor David Stern, who unfortunately passed away uh, on New Year's Day. And uh, Center Court, editions with Bray Horner, our newest edition, coming up this Friday for you, 6.45 in the morning, live on 93.5 FM. Or you can check it out, that out also on Twitter. Post that all for you to listen to. Meanwhile, we're back here at Nordonia High School. The deficit remains 9, 34 to 25 in favor of the Tigers with 4 and remaining here in the third quarter. Russ has his pass deflected, finds Watson back to Russ. Cross court to Ty Cody. Here's Malone. Malone finds Licht in the corner for three. In and out. That was halfway down. As we have a foul called. Josh Malone to inbound. Malone finds Licht this time in the other corner. Watson drives, kicks it out to Russ. Malone in the corner for three, can't hit. So the Knights are 0 for two from that corner from three. Here's Henderson. Henderson, a couple of crossovers, drives, he's fast, he's lengthy, he's agile, and he gets his shot blocked there. Vander Miller getting ready to check in. He'll come in for Donovan Mills. Here's Nick Hyder to inbound. Hyder finds Henderson. His floater's off the mark. Here's Cooper Russ to Lick. Lick pushing the pace here. Lick finds Malone to Russ. Malone. Dumps it inside for Watson, who was double teamed by Miller and Campbell. Knights ball underneath. Robert Watson catches, goes inside, and jump ball. And possession favors Cuyahoga Falls, so another Knights turnover. As the Knights remain in a nine point hole. Here's Brendan Gearing, had a strong second quarter, now has Owen Licht on him. Gearing drives and has it. Poked away, but 
ends up in the hands of Henderson. Henderson a couple of crossovers, now it's double teamed. The open man is Campbell, three by Gary, yeah. Gurian now with nine points. He and Henderson have combined for 18 of the 37 for Cuyahoga Falls. Here's Henderson. Now it's Cooper Russ guarding him. They can't stop him. He'll drive and run. I tell you, if you have speed in this at this level, you really can make some noise. We saw we saw last week Quentin Tolls of Maslin just the speed, the agility to get to the bucket whenever he wanted. And this week it has been Trini Henderson, who now has 11 points on the night. And Remains 11, unable to complete the three-point play. And here's Jones. Knights are now staring at a 14-point deficit. Jones, little floater, is off. Watson can't get the rebound. And here's Hyder. Henderson. Henderson once again drives. This time has it. Poked away momentarily. But a delay of game violation is called on the Tigers. And Jordan Massey, a junior, is going to get his first minutes of the evening. Jordan Massey. As I mentioned, Junior, 5-7. Here's Jones. Look, Ty Cody can't hit the three. Ty Cody has struggled all night from that range. Here's Jones. Dra drives and is way off as looks like Massey was fouled. And Joey Sondles is going to pick up the foul. 107 remaining here in the third quarter. Black Tigers 41, Knights 25 here at Nordonia High School. Massey hits his first free throw. Massey goes two for two at the line. Can't believe we're saying that. With all the free throw struggles the Knights have had. Sondles was getting bumped around. Joey Sondles has been quiet for only four points on the evening. I think he'd rather take a 14 point win or a 14 point lead. 50, and it is a 14 point lead with 55 seconds remaining here in the third. Gehring in the corner to Sondles. Sondles doing a lot of dribbling. Cross court, Gehr it's Hyder for a three. Campbell gets it back. Sondles for three, drills it. It is a Black Tiger blowout. And Isaiah Campbell drawing the charge. Trini Henderson's gonna come in for Isaiah Campbell. Looking, you're scaring. Here's Sandals. Sandals has Malone back in the corner. Hyder. 
Here's Miller. Miller finds Hyder, goes baseline, kicks it out. Gary in a three, book it. The lead is 20, the largest of the game. And it is a blowout here at Nordonia High School. We conclude our third quarter of play. It's a 20 point Cuyahoga Falls lead, 40, 20, 47 to 27, as we will have fourth quarter action for you right um, in a moment from Nordonia High School. I am Darius Sethna, and you're listening to Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity Broadcasts of Basketball here on NordoniaHills.News. Take a quick break, and we'll be back for fourth quarter action. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Nordonia High School. Let's get you updated with some NBA highlights. Cavs with a 13-point lead over the Detroit Pistons, 67-54 is the score from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Cavs, their final home game before a long six-game road trip. Portland at the half, down 46-56 to the Toronto Raptors at Scotiabank Arena. The Oklahoma City Thunder have a four-point advantage over the struggling Brooklyn Nets, who are 16-19. and um, Oklahoma City, as I mentioned, 29-25 lead over the Nets. The Minnesota Timberwolves are just about to uh, tip off against the Memphis Grizzlies from the FedEx Forum. The Sacramento Kings are in Phoenix to take on the Suns, and the Knicks are out west also in Los Angeles to face LeBron, Anthony Davis, and the Lakers. Keep you updated with that while we can. Meanwhile, it is a blowout here at Nordonia High School as the Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers have an 18-point cushion with seven minutes remaining here in the fourth. Timeout Cuyahoga Falls as the lead remains at 18, 47, 29 with 7.01 to go here in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back with Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity Basketball. Welcome back to Nordonia High School as we approach the final seven minutes of the fourth quarter. Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers with a 47 to 29 advantage over the Nordonia Knights. Here's Garin. Garin has Massey trailing him, and Massey with a great steal. Phenomenal defensive play by Jordan Massey. Here's Joel Jones in the corner for three. No, Jones has struggled all night, but. Jankowski has not struggled at all. Another bucket by Jankowski, 14 points for him on the night. And a steal by Henderson. Here's Jackson. Jackson pushes it with Massey. The layup is good. 14 point game, steal by Henderson. Henderson goes inside and misses. Jackson, the put back is good. And just like that, the lead is cut to 12. And we have a timeout called by Cuyahoga Falls. The lead, which was at one time 20, is now 12. Full timeout called by Cuyahoga Falls. We will be back for more fourth quarter action after this quick timeout. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. 6-11 remaining here in the fourth quarter. And we figured out over the break that Jordan Massey was given a technical foul. Maybe something he said. Well, that is why Trini Henderson is shooting the technical free throw. That technical foul was on Jordan Massey, it's junior.
Henderson hits the free throw. Henderson goes two for two from the line. And Tigers also with possession due to those uh, technical free throws. Steal by Messi and a foul. We'll see who the foul is going to be on Sandals. Sandals will pick up his second personal. More substitutions. Xander Miller is checking back in. Comes in for Sandals. Here's John Henderson now with. Trini Henderson guarding him. Massey has had a solid impact off the bench. Here's Jones. The layup is off. Jones once again struggling. Joel Jones, after a solid start, scored the first uh, four of the six ninth, uh, six ninth points. Has not scored since. Henderson traveled. It was a nice move. It was a nice move, but Henderson shuffled those shoes, and we will have another night's offensive possession here with 522 remaining in the fourth. Five deficit. Massey up top, Henderson again. by Brainer or Brennan Gearing goes all the way and lays it in and Dominique Sanders pointing at Josh Malone telling him to come back and Henderson Massey that's a rebound and was fouled Bones coming in for Jones. Jones has struggled tonight. So is Malone, only three points for him on the evening. Three pointer by Henderson is short. Jackson came up with it to Henderson. Great play, Jankowski, the layup, the lay in, and the foul. Jankowski, one of his best performances of the, if not his best, of the season. For Jankowski, 16 points, and we have another scuffle here. This time it's Garin and Luke Jackson. Another timeout called. This time, Dominique Sanders will try to will his troops for another come for a comeback. They're going to have to do it quick, though. For a 14-point deficit in this fourth quarter, 51-37. We'll be back to wrap up this fourth quarter from Rodonia High School between in this uh, interscholastic matchup between the Knights and the Black Tigers. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. 4.33 remaining in this fourth quarter. The Knights in a 14 point deficit, 51-37 against Cuyahoga Falls here at home. Here is Gareen, who's seen a lot of the ball along with Trini Henderson. Travel. 
can't believe the call. But the Knights forced a turnover, haven't turned the ball over as much this game compared to others. The Knights have. Here's Luke Jackson inbounded from John Henderson. Out there for the Knights, it's Henderson, Malone, Jackson, Jankowski, and Russ. Cooper Russ finds Jankowski. He's had a great game. Malone drives, floater, way off. Thought he got fouled. Henderson finds Campbell. Isaiah Campbell, crossover, the drive, lost it. Russ to Henderson. Russ for three, off. Jackson can't get the offensive rebound. Campbell finds Miller who has it stolen. Henderson, Jackson, pump fake, goes up, has it blocked. Sondles drives. And as it deflected by Russ, here's Campbell. Campbell comes up with it. Henderson. Henderson using some crossover moves. Henderson drives and we have a foul called. Looks like it'll be on Cooper Russ as Isaiah Campbell went down. No, it's called on Jackson. Jackson will pick up his third personal foul. Trini Anderson will be at the line for two more shots. Henderson's first free throw is good. Henderson now with 16 on the evening. Garing with 14. And then Joey Sondles has had a better second half. Now 10 points for the game. Here's Lick, who just checked in. Owen Lick finds Russ. As the Knights maybe have this one slipping away. Lick finds Russ. Three-pointer by Russ is way short. Nick Heider is going to check back in. 53 Cuyahoga Falls, Nordonia 37. 16-point deficit faced by the Knights with 2.40 to go here in the fourth quarter. Here's Sondles, kicks it out, finds Gearing. Henderson, so many dribble moves. Sondles finds Miller who lets it deflect out of bounds. We have a clock malfunction here. We're gonna change it from 216 to 220. Is it a minute 30? I saw. Here's Gearing to inbound. 220 here remaining in the fourth quarter. Finds Henderson. <laughs> Henderson finds Miller back to Henderson. Henderson's double teamed, finds an open Gearing for the bucket. One is slipping away from the Knights' grasp. Henderson finds Jones, finds Malone. Jones a three. He is struggling mightily. Cooper Russ gets the offensive rebound. To Jones, the layup, way off. Watson is fouled. Is 
Xander Miller with the foul. Uh, balls at the line to shoot two. Robert Watson. Robert Watson will be at the free throw line. Misses. Robert Watson for the second free throw attempt is off. Goes 0 for 2 from the line. Malone the offensive rebound though. To Jones back to Massey. Cooper Russ short rims a 3. Malone banks it in. Knights call a timeout. Knights staring at a 14 point deficit, uh, or 16 point deficit, excuse me, 55 39 here at home with seconds remaining here. It looks like this one's all but over now as the Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers with a commanding 16 point edge. We'll be back from Nordonia High School to wrap up this fourth quarter here on NordoniaHills.News. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. Minute 25 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Knights have a 16 point deficit on their hands and looks like this one is out of their grasp. Here's Henderson who's had a strong game. 17 points for Henderson and no fouls. That's impressive. Jones air balls a three. Watson is fouled. And Robert Watson will go back to the line for two free throws. Hey, don't forget, I am on Akron Radio this Friday with Ray Horner for center court. We're live at 6.45 in the morning, or if you're unable to listen to our show at that time, 93.5 FM is the channel, then I will post it, obviously, of course, for you to listen to on my Twitter account, at Nordonia Sports. Cavs also 74-65 lead against the Detroit Pistons. Kevin Love with 11 points. Chetty Osman, and he's had a nice stretch for the Cavs. 14 points. Colin Sexton with 12. Brandon Knight and Darius Garland combined for 20 points. Obviously, the Cavs do not have um, Kevin Porter Jr. He'll be out at least two weeks with an unfortunate surgery uh, injury in his left knee. As we approach the final minute of the quarter. Massey finds Jones, back to Watson, he, and one. Nice play from Watson. As Donovan Mills and Isaiah Campbell will check back in. Watson converts the free throw to complete the free three-point play, and the lead for Cuyahoga Falls is 12. We will conclude this fourth quarter. Knights at a, uh, staring at a 12-point deficit, 55-43. We'll be back to wrap up the fourth quarter next. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School as we wrap up the final 50 seconds of this one. Knight's going to do a full court trap here, trying to salvage something. And ball goes flying into the stands.
Ball will still remain with Cuyahoga Falls and it will be Xander Miller to inbound. Miller looking, finds Henderson. Miller is, can't find anyone and the Tigers have to call a timeout. 43 seconds remaining, remains a 12 point game. We'll be back to wrap up this quarter after the break. Welcome back to Nordonia High School. 43 seconds remain in the fourth. Knights down 12, 55-43 is the score line. Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers on the verge of coming to Nardonia and making a statement. Gearing couldn't in the inbound the ball in time. Five second violation. So five out there for Nardonia. Logan Jankowski is gonna come back in for Robert Watson. So it's Jankowski, Russ, Massey, Jones, and Malone. Here's Jones. In the corner, Russ a three. Got it, and a foul. It is an eight, and Cooper Russ has a chance to make this an eight point game with the four point play. The last thing the Tigers had on their mind. Donovan Mills is gonna check in for Sondles. And Cooper Russ hits the free throw. It'll be an eight point game. Russ hits it. Eight point game. 55, 47, 36 seconds remaining as the Tigers trying to hold on. Robert Watson comes up with it. Steal. Jones for three. No. Watson comes up with it, goes in, misses. Tip is off. Mills the rebound. And they have to foul him with 16.1 remaining. Josh Malone is going to check in for Joel Jones. 16.1 remaining, eight point game. So Donovan Mills, the senior, looking to get this game back to double digits. First free throw is good. Mills goes one for two. Three by Russ. Got it. So Cooper Russ has been on fire the last two possessions for the Knights. It is a six point game with 9.4 remaining. Can the Knights complete a comeback or will Cuyahoga Falls Hang on. We'll be back with fourth, the final 10 seconds from Rodonia High School. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to Rodonia High School. 9.4 remains in the fourth quarter. Knights down by six, forced some turnovers, hit some threes. And after having an 18 point deficit, 20 at one point, the Knights have come back. Here's Henderson who's fouled by Massey. That's foul on number 10, Jordan Massey.
Isaiah Campbell's going to check back in for Cuyahoga Falls. Henderson at the line for two shots. His first free throw is good. That extends the lead to seven. 7.8 7 seconds left. Cuyahoga Falls 57, Ordonia 50. Henderson goes two for two. Russ has had the hot hand. Malone for three, got it. But that's gonna do it. As Cuyahoga Falls comes to Nordonia High School and takes care of business. Not the prettiest way to win, but win is a win as the Knights fall again at home fell to Maslin Perry last week, now this week to Cuyahoga Falls. And the final score, 58 Cuyahoga Falls, Knights 53. Don't miss our post-game report from this game. Should be right uh, coming up ahead on NordoniaHills.news. Thank you so much for listening to Nordonia uh, Hills Boys Varsity Basketball Broadcast. I am Dariah Sethna. Don't miss our post-game report coming up very shortly. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you for the post-game show. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Nordonia High School for the post-game report. Knights fall to the Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers by a final score um, of 58-53. to 53. Knights had a strong start to the game, poor second quarter. Um, uh, Cuyahoga Falls really got it going and uh, actually at one point we're up by 20 in this ball game to end the half Logan Jankowski had one of his best halves for the Knights for the season uh, the Knights continued to struggle in their free throw wo uh, three free throw woes excuse me um, Sandals of Cuyahoga Falls finishes with seven points and then Brennan Gearing finishes um, ended the half with six points, excuse me. Jankowski would finish the uh, overall game with 16 points. The Knights would force some turnovers in that third quarter to get back in the game. Um, after being down 20, they cut it to six at one point, 56 to 50, with a uh, four-point play by Cooper Russ. Um, Trini Henderson of the Cuyahoga Falls Black Tigers was the go-to guy, finishing the game with 19 points um, for Cuyahoga Falls as the Black Tigers hit their free throws. The Knights um, started missing some shots in the end. And Cuyahoga Falls takes this one by five. Your final score, Cuyahoga Falls 53, Nordonia, um, or excuse me, Cuyahoga Falls 58, Nordonia 53. Thank you so much for joining me this week for another broadcast of Nordonia Hills um, basketball. Thanks a lot to Shane again for his great work on the camera and all of his audio work. We will be back very soon for another broadcast um, of Nordonia Hills basketball here from Nordonia High School. Until then, thank you very much for your time and have a great week.